Good morning, everybody. What's up? Dar Sizzle here. Put him behind the camera. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple. And we are inshore today. It's a glorious day. Actually, it's pretty on the dreary side, but we're not going to let that slow our roll. We're up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida. I'm going to get the trolling motors down, ready to roll. We're going to do some fish and see what we can get into. And we're going to hit the inlet first. So I'm very excited. It's just the time of the year where we'll have a lot of awesome fish migrate and travel to our area. We can catch everything this time of year. Sheep's head, Spanish mackerel, Florida pompano, all kinds of juicy, delicious stuff. Triple tail, so let's get into it. Yeah, we actually timed it perfectly somehow with the rain stopping and the high tide. We got here a little bit later than usual, again, because the tide was off and the rain. So it's high tide right now. We'd like an outgoing tide, which we're gonna have for all morning, so that's really great. And we're gonna start here at the inlet. And I can hit, hit a couple docks here and the inlet of Manatee Pocket, if you're familiar with Stewart. And we got some nice shrimp and some jigs. We're gonna start throwing those around. And for lures, we're probably gonna need some DOAs and stuff like that. But of course, we're gonna show you exactly what it is. And are uh, you ready, Sizzle? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna get this set right here. What do you got? I don't know. Should I get the net? All Can right, guys, net? we moved over to the inlet. Darcy just caught a jack. I did. I don't know what this is. Let me get this. Could be another jack. Oh, it's off. Jeez. Oh, all right. We're doing something at least. That was pretty fast. Oh. Fish on. Uh. Nice. <laughs> he inhaled that hole. There we go. That's about the same size Darcy caught before. Yeah, I let mine go. You let yours go? Yeah. Should we keep him? This one for the trip crab pots? Whatever you want to do. He didn't swallow it. So loud, you hear him? All right, one, look, we each one go. There you go. Nice clean ocean jack, though. Come on, fish. We're right in the hole right now, and that's good. Woo! Hold on. It's like long and skinny. Oh, yeah, it's a cuda. Whoa, ladyfish. <laughs> good God. Woo! All right, still in this inlet, getting some different species. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Big old sucker, another monster. Monster ladyfish. Time of the year for giants. Look at that thing. Not terrible. Woo! Oh, he bit my shirt. Nice. Right in the lip. Called the poor man's tarpon because they jump around so much as you just saw. Usually they come off the hook. Nice one. Woo. Look at the sun. Oh, that camera's in the dark, Darcy's is in the light. Nice. More bait. Hope he doesn't flip out of the boat. He might. He might. <laughs> so we got about four jacks so far and like a ladyfish and a couple of catfish. So it's, for no current, we're actually doing pretty good. Yeah, pretty we well. got some action. I think I'm going to put on a goofy jig. Cover some water right now while we have no current. Yeah. Because catfish. Darcy loves the goofy jig, the pompano goofy jigs. Because the... Um, and she, catches, she loves pompano, catch pompano, and then she catches everything else in the world, too. Shrimp are going to just get eaten by catfish today. Well, I just caught Jackson. I haven't caught one catfish yet. Maybe you just don't know how to fish. Ew. So, a lady just jumped right there. Saw one? A lady Come to the back. It's not going to be anything important. Okay. Moving fast. Ooh, another lady. Lady. Oof, geez, they're monsters. Woo! Woo, so much fun. Whoa, see? Right off. That's why they call them the... Poor man's top and they flip right off. Yeah. I'm just trying to cover some water. I'm casting a lure around. What do you cast? What lure? The goofy jig. Yeah, the goofy jig. He was whacking it all the way up to the surface. That was crazy. Come on, dude. Thank you. <laughs> they do have teeth. And they tear up your rig real quick. And this is torn up. I have to retie again. Now we know Jeez. why I call them poor man's tarpon. Because they jump and spit your hook. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect example. Not cool, dude. All right, we moved on to a really popular bridge. What's this bridge name? I forget. The Stewart Causeway. Stewart Causeway Bridge. And we're getting ready to set up and fish here, but I just saw a lure. 
you gotta take advantage of finders keepers <laughs> when you see brand new lures. And it's a nice snook lure that's up on this wall. So watch what I do. It's brand spanking new. Brand new. Woo! That's a $5 lure in the store. And that'll catch a fish. Oh yeah. Nice fish. All right, we got super strong current this bridge. This is how I like to rig them. We'll show you how Darcy likes to rig them next, but this is my way. I got something. I got something. Not very big. Snapper. Oh, just gonna move and Darcy had a fish on. It's probably a mangrove. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Grouper. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool catch for inshore. Little gag. Pretty. Little juvenile gag grouper. Ooh, look at the blue fins. That's pretty. See, you catch everything on a shrimp and a jig. Look <laughs> at those blue bottom fins. So pretty. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let them go. Stop playing with them. Bye, buddy. Very cool. Whoa, get him up, Brian. Whoa, jeez, no wonder. <laughs> Belly hooking fish, that's that's pretty sick right there. You pull him in like a two by four. That's pretty sick right there. <laughs> I thought it was a, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be my sheep shed. Brian's like the only one that like, actually like belly hooks fish. <laughs> Remember that time, the one in the Keys, I think he belly hooked and then like he bit you in your stomach or something? Oh, yes. Like right here. What, what kind of fish was that? Snapper. I think, I think it was a mango. Yeah. Snapper. Yeah. It bit me in my belly, like right here. I think it was like a shrimp too. <laughs> God. That's Damn how you it. do it. No. See, they're locking us up. That's exactly where I got broke up. Like locked up. Fish are running it to the thing. I think you're gonna be able to pop it because the structure came right off. Running it is running like I think book. the fish are grabbing it and running to a ledge or something right there. As if I just was able to pop mine off by giving it a little more force. It was like stuck on like growth down there. I was just about to say this actually worked for me the other day doing that, and it never oh does. Oh my god, it worked again. And it worked twice. That's like a bass move. Great job. Shit. Language. Oh, how does that happen? How do you do it? You flick it, you gotta tighten it, you flick it like a... Tighten it? Like yeah. you get the rod down? Yeah. And then just flick with the rod, bail open? <laughs> yeah, no, not the bail open. You make it's like a See yeah, that? something like that. Yeah, I got tighten the drag. You got something slipping. It's supposed to be like a, like a reaction thing, but it doesn't make no sense to me. But yeah, See that? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I did it. There you go. Oh, I'm the expert. It's fully raining now. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> It honestly looks like this storm's coming this way, but the wind's coming. Why do you take a radar? I check mine. My radar sucks, though. You have the same app. You just don't want to use it. What? You have the same app, don't you? you I don't think so. It. It, doesn't, it doesn't look as good as yours. Darcy got a fish on, finally. But I don't lose it. Here you go. Here we go. We got dinner. <laughs> Yay, it paid That's off. a nice one. That's a very nice one, right on the wall. Yeah, typical size for this time of the year, nice one. Nice. Fish with human teeth, no joke. Sweet. Oh, come on, you just got back up. All right, there we go. Cool. I did not think I was gonna catch a sheep set on that wall, that was cool. Yeah, this is like our little snook spot. Yes. I can get that out. I, didn't, I didn't even have the camera, Darcy's GoPro broke, or the battery died, and the, I didn't have the camera on even because we were just checking the radar actually because it's raining. It always seems to happen this way. <laughs> when we catch a decent fish, the cameras are not on. Oh, he's hooked really well. There he is. How kind of hard to hold these fish, especially <laughs> when they're a little on the smaller side. You can do better than that. There, there you go. go. He's good. He's nice. 
Sweet. Sick. The convict. All right. First fish in the cooler. Only took all day. <laughs> <laughs> we had quite a ton of fish. We have caught a ton of fish. Yeah, we're checking the radar. Not yeah, too shabby. We've caught, actually caught a ton of fish. We've got a, a ton of jacks, all the jacks you want, a bunch of ladyfish. And that's yeah. all great bait for our crab traps. Yeah. And, uh, and now we got dinner. A grouper. Yep. And a dinner. So maybe you so, should you know, use, whatever. what hook are you using? I'm using a little jig. This one, right? I'm using the other one, but okay. Heavier? It's heavier, yeah. I got to lighten up because Go there's no lighter. current here. So you, you yeah, yeah. Any of you guys do anything with jigs or flare hawks or anything weighted, you know, the, I don't know. Whenever you guys do anything with jigs or flare hawks or weighted, you know, that varies with the depth and the current. So we're always changing that. All right. So we, we got a whole little thing here. Yep. Assortment of stuff. Yeah. Giving Brian a pink. Pink. I like pink, you know. And uh, so it's shallower here and a ton less current than at that bridge. So we've got to change it up. Otherwise, you know, you just Even cooking. though I just caught a fish on that, I'm still going to go lighter. Well, you know, lightning hits, lightning's got to hit somewhere. So sometimes you do get lucky. Yes. But usually you're going to be unlucky. Sheep said are pretty smart, though. Yeah, so uh, you want to do your best you can. So let's get the cameras on and catch a fish. <laughs> cameras this time. <laughs> Batteries, quickly. All right, I usually cut them, but I don't have uh, scissors available right now, so I'm just going to twist it off in the middle so I can use both pieces. And then basically what I do is take the jig, which is that lighter jig I just tied on, same color, go through the meat section that I tore off, and get it up as far as I can. I usually try to get it into the head, stays on a little better. And then shove the hook inside, and that's how I fish it. And that's how I just caught that fish. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, Darcy catches all the fish like that. I do the full fish, full shrimp like I showed you before, but I don't know how she catches so many fish like that, but she You does. should be doing it too. I really like to mix it up, so I like to use the whole shrimp. Be in a nicer jack on the wall. Not full and drag, it's a snapper. It's a nice snapper. Hey, he's gonna be close to a keeper. Is that a keeper? That's a keeper. Swallowed it too. It's gonna be close. I think it's 12, 10. I think the mangrove is 10, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. 11. Got a lot of fish species in here. Oh, dude. Let's see what Sizzle has. <laughs> She's going around the boat. Please be something. I got the net just in case. Please be something good. Yeah, other fish were caught, came to the surface. That's the biggest jack we have. Yeah. That was right on the bottom again. It was right there by that. Biggest jack in the boat on a goofy jig. Nice. Whew. Getting bites. Just started getting bites. It's kind of like you look on one side, it's like really stormy, and you look at the other side, and like the sun's trying to come out. It's weird, but it's cold. <laughs> it's cold for me. And Brian's freezing too. Yeah, I got my jacket on. Yeah. Oh, that dude inhaled it. All right. Yeah, and again, we got a ton of fish back here. And some in the cooler. So we actually been bending the rod quite a bit today. We have. We just haven't been catching like, you know, we're spoiled, so we want to catch. Well, we did catch dinner, so we can't complain about that, that's for sure. Yeah. But we, she wants to catch a pompano, but that doesn't seem like that's happening today. That's why we keep on playing this inlet, because it's supposed to be pompano in here, or it's a season for it. The water looks like crap. Nobody else is catching pompano. But there's quite a it, few people here fishing for them on a weekday. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get that spooled right. Oh! Camera on? Oh. All right, guys, we moved to this dock. <laughs> Again, I didn't put the camera on fast enough, but we got hooked up pretty quick. If you keep it on. It might be a jack, but it's big, definitely bigger. And you got current you're fighting. Oh, big jack. jack, big jack. Keep him off the boat. Nice job. Hey, just look at the heads down on these damn jacks. Off the boat. I think I only have 30 pounds. You're fine. Uh, yeah, you're whooping his butt. Oh, boy. Nice jack. Ooh, that's a nice one. Brian with the biggest fish of the day. Nice. 
All right, I gotta get my bait right out. All right, get your bait out. I'm not even messing with this. He's no. got it. Ah! Lunker Jack. See the jig right in the face. That was on your whole shrimp? Yeah, whole shrimp. Nice. Not a huge jack, but a good, nice one today. That's a nice Ooh, they fight, man. That was game on. It was game on. Oh, he almost went out. Just watch your rod. Hold on, I gotta He's find a fly. your rod. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my coat off. I got my hands are all messy. I'm a mess. Awesome day, catching a ton of fish in like six hours. It was epic. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, it's the holiday week for us, and, and my sister's coming to town, and my birthday's coming up. Yes. So we did like a half day trip today. Yeah. I don't know. We caught like a we caught blue runners and jags and I mean, ladyfish and catfish. I don't know between twenty and thirty fish for sure. And, and, yeah, sheep we shed. Lost stuff I got back. dinner. Yeah. So can't complain, awesome, guys. Awesome day. Can't complain. Just throw, just throw those shrimp in some current. With a correct size jig head, and you're gonna catch fish. You're always gonna catch something, it's even if time. like the good fish aren't chewing. You're still gonna catch fish like catfish. You're gonna catch something. You're yeah. gonna bend the rods, as they say. Yes. Anyway. Exactly. But thank you guys so much for joining us on today's adventure. And until our next one, Find follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Happy birthday month. Yes. Almost birthday. <laughs> month, month, birthday, birthday. Me and Jesus have the same month. <laughs> yes. <laughs>